Hello, today we are going to demonstrate how to crack passwords using a program called Hashcat and we're working off of Kali Linux and so the type of uh, attack that we're going to use is based off of a dictionary attack and that's basically we have a, a list of words and we're going to try to um, generate a hash value from different combinations of those words until we can find a match between a uh, hash value that we create and the one that actually exists on an operating system for a user's password. And if there's a match, then we know that we have the correct password, and so we've essentially cracked it. All right, so let's open up a terminal. And so the program we're using is called Hashcat. So if you want to find out how that works, just go to dash dash help. And right at the top, there's a list of here's kind of the basic usage. And it will ask you to put in some options. And one of them that you need is um, you'll have a file with the hashes in it. And then you can put a lot of optional items in, one or more dictionaries. And so the options that you'll want to indicate pretty much all the time are the dash M, the hash type. And you need to know what type of algorithm um, produced the hashes that you're going to try to crack. And then dash A is the attack mode for Hashcat. And there's about, there's, well, let's see, five, basically five that they're listing here, attack modes. So we're going to use this one called the combination attack. And on their website, here's basically how it would work. So we're going to have a dictionary list of just words like this. And all it's really going to do is run through every single word. Oh, and there's going to be two of them side by side, basically, the identical dictionary. And it's going to basically append one word from the second dictionary onto every single word in the first dictionary, basically combining every way that you can append two words together. Um, all right. So let's make a new directory. All right, and so for this example, we're just going to make up a new user. And the password I'm going to use is just really simple. It's going to be password1234. All righty. And so on a Linux system, password hashes are stored in a file called shadow in the etc folder. So let's look at that. And we see it right here at the bottom. Here's the user. And then right after the first dollar sign you'll see a six. And then immediately following that dollar sign. If you look at this, this is the hash or the uh, the salt value for hash passwords. And then everything after the second dollar sign all the way to the first colon, that's our actual hash value. All right, so then the other thing that's important to know is like what was the hash algorithm that Linux used to, to produce this? So we're gonna look in a folder called uh, etc login.defs and we're gonna look for a variable called encrypt method. So I'm gonna grep that. So they're using SHA-512, and it runs through 5,000 rounds of encryption. So in our program in Hashcat, they have a numerical value associated with each type of supported um, encryption. So for ours, it's going to be 1,800. So they give you an example on their website. All right. So now let's store this hash value into a text file. So we're going to do, we're going to grab the very bottom, the very last item in our shadow file. And we're going to pipe that into a new text file. All 
All right, and then we're going to just edit this so we strip off the other information. And I just get rid of everything um, before that first dollar sign. Oops. And then get rid of everything, including this very last colon that you can see. Save that. All right, and then we're going to just grab a really simple word list of it's uh, a tiny one of 500 words and just pipe that into a new text file. All right, and then just to see what that looks like, look at the first 10 passwords or so. So this particular word list has a lot of the most common passwords people have used and they're really dumb. <laughs> All right, and so now we're ready to actually run the attack. So we're gonna just start typing in the hashcat command. So our mode, dash M, this is our uh, hash algorithm type, and we saw that was 1800 for the SHA-512. And our attack type, we're gonna use type one. And then we're gonna tell it to output the file text file and the dash remove will say to remove the hash if it was successful remove it from our hash list and I'm going to say pull from this file that's where a hash exists and then we're going to use our two our dictionary twice for the combination attack all right here we go So it's going to just should be really quick. You keep if you keep tapping the, the S button, that'll give you a status update. Alright, looks like it got it. Correct. Alright, so then if we just take a look at our text file, here's what our the output, if it's successful, will show up. So that was a really simple demo, but Hashcat is a really powerful tool and it has a lot of different modes for attacking and cracking passwords. You can even write your own types of rules. It gives you almost a, a programming language in and of itself. So that's it for this one. See you later.